not seeing it. Okay. Oh my days, that's creepy as. Okay, I can't move. I literally like she said in her note. This is sending shivers down my spine. <laughs> I'm not bloody opening that. <laughs> What are you doing? What's up guys? My name is ESO and welcome back to- Oh my god, there's a- Jesus Christ, Liddy, there's a bloody saber cat attacking us. My goodness me. Oh, what? I've been deprived of another kill cam. How? Oh, okay, Lydia, Lydia's taking care of that for us. Sorry about that, guys. My name is ESO, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are playing what is... Oh, my God, what is going on here? Who is this? This random guy just attacking me. Oh, my God, it's quite tanky. End him, Lydia. Finish him, Lydia. Well done. I am proud of you. Started foot of the mountain. I believe this is actually part of the mod I've just installed, guys. Sorry for this ridiculously interrupted start, but this is going to be a horror mod that I'm going to be playing through today. Apparently, it's actually really, really scary, and I'm terrible with horror games in general. So, you know, we'll see how scary it is. But to be honest, I mean, it's in the beautiful land of Skyrim, and I may be playing a Khajiit, but I am not a scaredy cat, am I, Lydia? My girlfriend recommended I play this. She said, I've watched other people play it and it was absolutely terrifying. And I was like, yeah, all right, I'll try it out. Let's see. Let's see how bad it really is, though. So here we have the body of Isidore. Got a delivery job for us. Meet me out near Crag Wallow Slope in East March. Leave as soon as you get this. I hear tell us some ruins leading into the Veloth Mountains. Just uncovered by a landslide, they say. This is big. Fresh ruins if we could be the first to pick them over. We could be rich. Who knows what's down there though. Bring the best gear you can lay your hands on too. Pick off somewhere on the road with good stuff if you have to. Just get it to me quick as you can. Camilla. Okay, so he was on his way to this new location, I guess. Unfortunately, he is now dead. I don't know why he attacked us. I'm a little bit confused about that. Completed. Read Camilla's note. We must now investigate the ruins mentioned in the note. And I actually happen to be near the start of this quest location, which is just pretty much down the mountain from us. So we can just walk over there now. Apparently there's been a landslide and it's uncovered a new location for us to explore. Literally just up the hill. And guys, if you want this mod list that I'm using at the moment, if you like the way Skyrim looks, it looks very pretty, doesn't it? I will leave a link to my website down below in the description where you guys can download the whole mod list. There's also a tutorial on how to install it if you guys are completely new. Completed. Foot of the mountain. Okay, here we are. The shadow under the mountain. Doesn't sound good. Enter the Velothi mountain tunnels. All right. The doorway to the ruins appears unstable. It seems likely that going through it will cause it to collapse, trapping you inside and any followers outside. This will prevent you from returning to Skyrim until you find another way out. Looks like I'm going to be stuck here for a while, Lydia. And you're going to have to stand out here and wait for me. I'm here if you need me, Thane. Oh, I feel so... I thought at least I was going to be able to you take my trusty follow. companion with me. But here we go. We're venturing off into the mines. Let's do this. I've no idea what to expect. I've no idea how many episodes this is going to be. I'm just going in blind. Oh. Okay. Now this mod apparently is a masterpiece and there's been a lot of work gone into this with sound effects and everything like that. So, oh my days. How many torches did I bring? 43. It looks like we're going to be good, guys. I have got mods on that make... Who's that? Hello? Hi. Ooh, I can't see her face because it's in shadow, but it looks a bit creepy, doesn't it? Let's go up her and say hi. Maybe she wants to introduce me. Oh, God, she's gone. Okay. 
let's just drop down here. I don't like horror games, and I'm like, I hope there's not any jump scares or anything like that here. <laughs> Why am I doing this? Okay. I'm just going to keep talking to myself and carry on going. You know, my girlfriend asked me, do you want to play the game with me? I'd quite like to play it with you. And I was like, no, nah, no, nah, I'll play it on my own, you know, and I'm kind of regretting not being like, yeah, let's play it together. Okay, so there's a locked door here. It's just a normal Skyrim dungeon. I've heard bad things about it, but I'm sure it's fine. Oh, God, okay. Here we go. It's going to mean something behind me, isn't there, when I turn around. I'm just going to carry on lockpicking chests. I've got the volume on quite loud. I should probably turn that down. Okay, everything's good still. Yep. Just carrying on through this. Yeah, that looks fine. Let me turn off YouTube alerts before they jump scare me. Is it meant to be this dark in here? I don't actually know. It's very empty and very quiet. I'm just going to follow the path with the lights and not venture anywhere else. I don't know. Can I get up here? I can, yeah. Just here then. Okay, so there are some camping beds. Someone has advent... Ah, a caravaner. Maybe they thought this was a shortcut. The journal was... Oh, it suffered water damage. And only the final entry is legible. 20th of Sun's Dusk, 4th Era, 33. By the divines, I am glad I'm heading away from Clockwork Castle and away from those metal men. It's not just me. I can see it in the faces of the whole caravan. Everyone's scared of them. A special dead-end trip once a month through these crumbling gloomy tunnels and back again for just one customer. It spooks the horses and it spooks the men. Thodovetch doesn't pay me enough for this. Come to that, his old man didn't spend enough clearing and shoring up the tunnels in the first place. You would think that of all the people he could afford it. I guess you don't become a trader baron by way of being overly free with your money. So many side passages, blank doorways yawning at us as we pass. No one knows what's down there. All we can do is stick to the main road and listen to the clatter of carts echo down those darkened corridors as we pass them by. Come the morning, we'll have to get the carts up those damnable stairs. I swear that the boards are going to slip off one of these days, but by then we'll be outside and back in the world again. And the snow? I suppose in here we're out of the weather at least. Well, I guess... They died? Because why would he leave his journal behind here? There's water down there. I don't really want to go down there, but I'm going to, I need to get, I literally can't see anything unless I get my torch out. Some of these areas are just so dark. Okay, let's just run down here and hope for the best. I really don't know what's going to happen. But this is just a very long cave with nothing in, isn't it? And I'm just filling the silence by talking to myself and hoping nothing bad happens. Hmm. You know, guys, I'm actually doing a book reading series. Um, if you guys like listening to me read the journals and trying to discover what's going on around here, you might also enjoy that. Because uh, me and my girlfriend are actually illustrating the series as well. I don't think there's anything really here. It's just a, a scenic area. So let's just carry on to the end of the cave and get out of here. A lot of dark corners. Okay, this is fine. There's a lot of bones here. Some skeletons. I mean, you know, if I owned a castle, I would probably have a, a room just for the bones of my enemies as well. It's perfectly normal. Yep, of course, the stairway just stops and it's broken away. 
I can hear what's... Sounds like a waterfall. It's like the water's boiling. Oh, it's like a geyser or something. Hot water. I am quite interested as to the story of this location as well, so I want to kind of discover what's going on. You're not that scary, are you? But it's a bit weird that you're just looking at me. Can't actually reach you. Weird at all. Bone Hollow. You wouldn't catch me going down to some dark dungeon with a name like that. You know, so far I'm not really scared. Like, I think I was expecting something worse, and it's not that bad. Okay, those skulls just turned towards me. That was clever. Oh, look, look, they're all turning. That's really well done. Oh, how do they do that? They all, oh my God, they're all following me around. Look at that, that's weird. Shh. He's got lights in his eyes, look. That's not scary, I'm good. Just follows me around, doesn't he? Lighting up the way I go. Oh, okay. So there's a way up there. I am looking around. I just kind of like don't want to miss anything. I'm interested because it's like it's sometimes. Oh, that door open there. Okay. That's interesting. I'm amazed what um, broken iron sword, iron ingots, daggers, nothing that gives anything away to us. I'm always amazed what modders can create and do with Skyrim because the game is like really it came out in 2011 initially and what you can do on the creation club is why did I put my torch away is really quite limited in a sense so when someone does something a bit unique and different and I've played a lot of mods you know it's actually you know I think it should be commended really oh that is that you can't go that way then I'll go around the longer way. Okay. An Imperial. Oh, it's Camilla. She didn't get very far, but she was pretty equipped for discovering this place. She had a pickaxe with us and everything. Roll of paper, torches, which I'll definitely be taking, Camilla. Sorry about that. I she had everything that an explorer would need. Maybe I should take that shovel. I don't know if I'll need it, but just in case. And here's Camilla's trail part four. Oh, part four. Where were the other parts? I kind of missed them, guys. Sorry about that. I needed you and you aren't here. I thought those were your footsteps, but they weren't. Always coming up behind me, but nothing there. Time stood still and she came towards me. Slowly, slowly. I couldn't move. I can't leave anymore. I can't face it. Can't go back into the world. I'll just sit here and I'll just stay here with the bones until it's over. Sorry, Isidore. Clearly she had a creepy experience. I'm kind of bloody glad I didn't read any of the other ones, to be honest. I, I want to read everything, but I mean, it's so dark. Okay. Oh my days. That's creepy as. Okay. I can't move. I literally, like she said in her note. This is sending shivers down my spine. <laughs> I'm not bloody opening that. Oh my god! Jesus! Oh my! Wait! Oh, it's that. It's that normal bug. Okay. Oh my god! Is that the fucking? Oh 
Wait, we were just in this room. What the hell's happened? Oh, the skulls are back to front as well. Oh my god, it's like he said in her note, like, time stood still and she came towards me slowly, slowly. I couldn't move. I can't leave anymore. I can't face it. I can't go back into the world. That's literally what just happened to us. And then she said, I just sit here with the bones. And that makes sense. I kind of want the whole story here. So I went back to the start of the dungeon. And I'm just going to quickly run through and find all these notes. So Camilla's Trail Part 1. Here we go. Got sick of waiting for you. I've gone ahead and I'm going to scout the tunnels. I'll put up some torches to light the way. Pick up your feet and follow them to find me. I mean it. Hurry up. I want to see your fingers stained from finding this note with the ink still wet. Something's in this place and it makes my hair stand on end. It's as if the shadows are moving. Camilla. So this is her when she's pretty confident she's just entered, I guess. Oh my god, guys. Walking back through this room again. I've just spotted the lady just there. Standing watch. I didn't even realize she was there when we were walking through earlier. And on this note here, Camilla's Trial Part 2. Is Dwemer ruined? I thought it was just an old imperial place, but no, that must have come later. There's more than that here. This might be it. It could change everything for us. Just be careful. There is something else down here. Something's not right about her. Always disappears before I can get a good look. I can't leave now though. Not now. And then when we were here, there was a note right in front of us. Part three. This is all wrong. Can't go back. Can't face it. Where are you? And that was just before we read her fourth note when she's dead. That's creepy. Oh, God. Oh, there's like hands coming out of the mouth. Okay. I'm very jumpy right now. And of course, we have a pile of bones leading up to the way we initially could not actually get up to. Oh wow, that is really good with the lighting there. What is going on here? There's a bow in there. Okay. Oh, restless skeleton. Oh, okay, okay, we're fighting, we're fighting. Let me get my bow out. Oh, okay, get away from me. Get out of here. I didn't know I'd be fighting anyone in this in this dungeon. Just try and get rid of these quickly. Wow, that was the coolest battle I've ever had, like in terms of setup. That was insane. Oh. I hate that. Like, when you walk over bones in Skyrim, they sometimes send you flying over... Oh, they send you flying over them, and it's a bit... Creepy. There's literally just troughs of bones under here. Lights following me. What is this area? Let me get my torch out again. It's quite hard to see. Oh god, hello. Yep, that's not done much, has it? Ow. Skeletons are very weak, but these are a bit strong. Please stop attacking me. Maybe I should keep my weapon out. I think that would probably be a better idea. Okay, so we're going back across here. Look, there's a skeleton like, there as well. Okay. You're going to come alive. You're not getting past me. Oh, okay. That, that worked. How many arrows do I have? Enough, hopefully. Oh, wait, 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 the door just opened for me. Yes, I can kill them. 
you are not fooling me, skeletons. What's that? Just a barrel. So just drop down then. What is that? Oh my god, I can see so many bones in that water. That's so creepy. Closed trap door. Oh, hello. It's like some kind of demonic ritual, isn't it? I keep checking behind me just to make sure, you know. Oh, this is coming kind of some kind of graphical error, but I think I need to jump into this pit of darkness. Oh, God! There was actually a staircase there. I was like, did I just kill myself? <laughs> okay. Can you hear that? There's like some kind of... There's some Dwemer architecture around here. Oh, I just fell off. Lucky it didn't land on one of those spikes, eh? Is that ice? Oh, that's so clever! Look, the staircase goes... Has dropped into the water and then it's just frozen. You guys can see the ice and you can actually, like, see through it. It's so clear. Wow, that's really cool. I love how they've done that. It's impressive. strange place find a way through the mountain tunnels okay then hello she just comes to say hi again you know sure that's fine yeah sure okay I'm gonna go over here now that's not weird at all So glad that ice is there because I don't want any of that in my life. No, thank you. Oh, God, she's so weird. This is a weird. Oh wait, I can hear a skeleton. Get Rex on. Whoa, you're tanky. Let's see if I can take this boy out of here. Oh, get wrecked, mate. Ah, oh. I missed the next one, there, didn't I? Okay, hello. It's like the undead skeletons. God barracks, isn't it? <laughs> That's a sneak attack. It, they're pretty tanky. I need to go over there, really, but I just want to check what's over here. More beds. More bones. Can't say I'm really surprised, to be honest. Uh, let's let's just head onwards then, I guess. Onwards and very much outwards. Haha! <laughs> Didn't even fully charge that one. That was funny. Yeah, you can see where the stone staircase used to be. Okay. Some more health potions there. Uh, can I get all the way across here? Yeah, I can. Perfect. This is good. Some health potions. Hi, low. No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine.
what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, okay, just leave me alone, man. I need to get out of here. Oh my god. As a skeleton, it is not bad. You get right. <laughs> Lol. Eat that axe, you crazy lady. I'm kind of like half running a little bit crazy through this place. I don't really know. This goes back to this room, doesn't it? I don't know where that lady's gone, to be honest. God. this at all. There's a lot of bones in this place. Get me out of here. Okay, you are not dead. Neither are you. Definitely not dead. Neither are you. Sit back down, please. Oh! Oh my god, there's something there. J bloody hell, where am I meant to go? Oh god, this is weird. She's like... She was like behind me, like sort of, it kind of looked like she was trying to do something to me, but I had my, my belt on so she couldn't do that, it was, it was lucky. Okay, I don't, I don't care if there are skeletons around, I just want to get out of here. Man. Why did, I don't know where I am. No, thank you. Whoa, what the hell? Bloody hell. Get me out of here. Oh my god. Oh, this is amazing. Look at that. I always got crushed to death. Oh my god. Where do I go? What? I can't get through there. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. What? i got to get through here. How? Oh! What the hell, man? It's the clockwork castle grounds. Okay, so he made it through the caves, guys. Jesus Christ, I did not do that at all. Explore the valley. Well, I'm not going back in there, am I? My God. Oh, man. I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode. I'll link it down below in the description. And guys, if you did enjoy this episode, please go ahead and support me on Patreon. You can get early access to these videos, as well as some other cool things that I'm working on as well, like behind-the-scenes stuff. And I really need the financial support right now if you haven't seen my video about the current situation I'm in. But I hope you enjoyed the first episode. Apparently it only gets worse. Thanks for watching guys. I will see you in the next one. Have a fantastic day and goodbye.